side. We'll go ahead and start with questions for the players. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, about what, what was different in the second half? Were there some points of emphasis coming out of the locker room? Yeah, we, we decided to, um, you know, change some matchups, uh, change some uh, ball screen coverages, um, and, and not dwell on, um, you know, uh, the, the shooting in the first half, kind of knowing that we're going to get shots and, you know, we got to step up and, and hit them. So uh, not focus on the fir first half and move on to the next half. So. It's a, really, it was just like our energy, for real. Um, I feel like the second half we had a little bit more energy to, um, to come out. Um, we made a few mistakes in the first half, but we didn't step up at halftime. So. Yeah. It's Coleman, when you're in that stretch where Rutgers misses all the shots, doesn't score for 10 plus minutes, I mean, just what what do you kind of feel or see in that? I mean, can you sense you know that it won't when you're playing? Yeah, I just. Uh, Feel like our, our defense is there, our effort is there, um, energy, um, you know, energy in the crowd in the building. Um, yeah, that's it, and, it, and it's very contagious too. You know, when you're playing hard, the next guy that subs in got expectations to go in and play hard, match the energy or play even harder. So uh, yeah, I just feel the energy in the building, in the crowd, um, and throughout the team. So. Coleman, sometimes freshmen take a while to buy in defensively, but what do these three guys add to you guys defensively? Yeah, um, you know, Ty can go out and, and, and guard uh, any matchup. You know, we can switch with Ty. Jaden and Sincere are, are, are fighting their asses off to get over ball screens, and you see the effort they're trying to do. Um, you know, uh, you know, since Sears a little skinnier, um, Jaden's a little shorter, but uh, you know, they're they're fighting really hard to get over those ball screens and. It's great to see uh, them take on challenges like uh, a Paul McKay, uh, you know, bigger guards in our league like that. You know, Jalen Pickett, who, you know, don't really get sped up like that, uh, but they're uh, fighting hard to speed people up and, uh, you know, just play our defense. And yeah, it's been it's been good to see them just buy into that. So, Cole, is there a different feeling for you coming out of halftime offensively? It seemed like you were able to really kind of get going and get the rest of kind of quick out of the break. Yeah, I think the difference is just, you know, some games um, I don't really, um, and I'm not saying this is anyone's fault, uh, but mine, I think uh, I just don't get involved in like the first media or two. You know, some games I go a stretch without doing anything um, uh, in the first, second media. Um, so today I, you know, try to get involved, um, try to get uh, a few shots in, you know, get, get to the offensive glass, whatever that is to kind of impact the game early. Uh, I think that, you know, the energy just carried over, you know, you see a few shots go in, um, and uh, yeah, it just, like I said, it's just energy, and it's contagious, so yeah. Yeah. Dane, it seemed like you and Coleman had kind of a good thing going in the first half. How important was that on the offensive end where <coughs> other things weren't working quite as well? Uh, yeah, you know, um, you know uh, we've been really emphasizing uh, just getting the ball in the paint more. Um, I feel like Coleman did a good job of just just looking and just talking to me, um, just communicating with me a lot on the floor. Um, yeah, even in practice too, just just teaching me little things that I can do so he can get it into me easier. Sure. And Cliff Moore, he's known as one of the better big men in this league. Do you see this as a big matchup for yourself? And what do you think your performance said about kind of where you would stand in this? Um, yeah, I'm, I was, um, you know, I'm kind of familiar playing against him. Uh, I played against him a few times, <coughs> um, just coming up in AAU and stuff. So I. I kind of was already familiar with this game, with how he tries to play. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, Cliff's a good player. Uh, but you know, uh, you know, every game I try to, you know, pregame I try to just watch uh, just some of the players' tendencies and how they guard and stuff. So I took advantage. In the way back. Question for both of you guys: What did it mean to have Goody back on the court? Um, and what is what did he bring today that helped you guys? Uh, yeah, <clears throat> I think it was good to see Luke back. Um, you know it's hard. You know coming off an injury like that where you got to sit out and you know you're you're uh, you you have to build up to you know playing to the season and then boom like that you know your season is taken away from you. Um, so it's tough on you mentally and physically. So I, it, it was just good to see Luke back. You know he's bringing energy. Uh, he's talking during practice, but uh, you know he's he's slowly getting back to it. Um, so yeah, I just I I got a lot of respect for Luke because uh, you know he worked hard to you know, get back to game shape, game form, so yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely uh, good to have Luke back. Uh, one of the biggest things for me is just him, uh, just his leadership he's shown in practice and just uh, on, the, on the floor.
the side, just on the bench talking to some of the younger guys, teaching them stuff. So that was really a big thing for us. Scott? Coleman, when did you maybe sort of have this realization that, you know, it takes it's taken you maybe a couple media timeouts to, to get involved offensively? <laughs> yeah, um, you know, like last game, um, you know, there's just a few times this year where I'm like, uh, you know, just not getting involved. And, you know, I, you know, I conversate with my dad. He's like, you know, those first five minutes, you got to get involved. You got to go do something, get an offensive rebound, get a putback. Um, and like I said, it's not anyone's fault but mine. Um, just getting involved in the game, um, not just going with the flow, just getting involved because, you know, ultimately it's, you know, um, um, that's going to bring my energy level up. It's going to, and it's going to help our team out too. Um, when, you know, I'm getting to the offensive glass, making shots, doing things like that. So, uh, Dane, when you said you look at tendencies, is that like in warm ups or is it more on film? Like, what, what do you look for? And then as a second part, like now that you've got all these Big Ten games under your belt, like what, what have you learned about going up against some of these bigs in the conference and what do you think you've shown? Uh, yeah, um, tendencies, I mean, just like, just watching some of their film, um, just on how they guard, you know, what, uh, do they play defense with their chest more or more with their arms? Um, cause you know, if I can get into their body, I could, you know, do my spin or spin off of their body. Um, so I just watch the little stuff like that. And, um, you know, uh, you know, the Big Ten has really good bigs, but, um, I feel like I did good, you know, with just studying. Studying everybody, you know, taking little things that I can learn. You know, this is my really my first season playing, uh, but I definitely feel like I'm one of the best bigs. Andy, Dane, it seemed like after the first five minutes, you guys were able to really turn the tide on the glass. What were the biggest reasons for that? Because, yeah. yeah, it seemed like after the first five minutes, you guys were able to really turn the tide, kind of dominate the glass. What was kind of the biggest change for you guys there? Uh, really, um, you know, um, I think they out rebounded <coughs> us like, like 15 to four and a half or something like that. We ended up with 40. Uh, so just, uh, you know, at halftime, you know, we just all fought in, you know, me, Cole, and Matt, you know, we always hit the glass really hard. So we really just made a big emphasis in, on that, which really changed the game. Yeah. Coleman, after halftime, did you want the Mokai matchup? Because it seemed like his your length really bothered him, especially trying to get those those, those runners in the lane. Yeah, um, we, um, me, T.A., and, uh, and, and Frazier talked about it, uh, uh, you know, was it yesterday in practice, and he was just saying, you know, if he, if he gets going early, um, they're going to put me on him. Um, you know, I feel like uh, we worked uh, a good amount on, on uh, doing that. You know, sometimes if I get caught on the screen, you know, me and Dane could just switch it uh, because he's, uh, he, he likes to get downhill to floaters, but, you know, if Dane steps up, I could get to Cliff uh, quick, you know, no lobs. Um, you know, it, 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 you saw it worked well. So, yeah, was, we kind of talked about it earlier, um, and he, he got up to a decent little start. So, yeah, just having that matchup, he bothered my leg. So, yeah. Jeremy? Coleman, I don't know how much you saw him play, but Darren Williams was here today. What's it mean to see a guy like that come back here, and even a guy like Mandy Jackson? Yeah, uh, for sure. It's special. Uh, actually, you know, um, just like growing up, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't, I didn't know he, uh, Darren Williams, went here until I uh, came to the school. I was like, Darren Williams went here? Like, that's crazy. Like, I've always known like Darren Williams to be a great player, but I never knew that until I came here. Um, but no, it's 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 awesome to see people like that. Um, yesterday at Ubin, uh, Manny came right up to me. And he introduced himself, told me he loved my game. So just little things like that, where you know people recognize your game, but. You know, they're, they're uh, very impactful for this program and very powerful people as well. So uh, it, means, it means everything for, you know, people like that to come back and watch us play. So, George. Dan, I know we've talked a lot about your journey uh, over the course of the last year. So not, not to get too far into that, but if we were to go back a year ago right now and tell you that you'd be kind of where you are right now, would, would you have believed it? And I guess what does it mean to be able to, in your first real season of college basketball, have the impact you're having? Uh, yeah, you know, um, you know, definitely, I feel like, um, you know, I would have been here, uh, you know, I just, you know, I just take it day by day, you know, I try to do everything I can to, um, you know, little things like just get my body right, that's what I've been trying to do over the past year, and, you know, it's been showing, so, you know, I really just try to take it day by day, um, and get better every single day. So. Coleman, you mentioned the conversations you had with T.A. and Chester, you know, Brad's given 
them a lot of compliments about where you guys are at defensively. What have you seen from them and how they coach you guys up and what they provide at that end? Uh, yeah, just being there, you know, they're coaches, but they're coachable as well. Um, you know, I, I come up to them, pick their brain. What do you think about this, that? Uh, and we're feeding off each other. So, uh, you know, it's always good when you have, you know, like a former player like Coach Frazier who, who um, knows how we feel and, um, you know, it's, it's just kind of relatable to us. Um, so he kind of has that connection with his players um, where he can talk to them, figure what, figure out what they think. Um, and, and it's not just, you know, it, it's my way. You know, he, he'll talk to you and, and then you guys can figure things out together. And that's what we've been doing over the years. So, so yeah. We'll go the way back with Brett. Coleman, how much confidence do you guys feel like you have defensively and to hold a team for 10 minutes without scoring? Does that give you a little bit of pride in essence? Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, when, when you force uh, tough twos in, in today's game, I think it's uh, a really good thing. Um, you know, tough twos, no threes. You know, you, you let a guy like Cam Spencer, uh, you know, really good shooters in our league get going, you know, that, that could be the end of the night right there. Um, so when, when you're forcing tough twos, forcing tough shots, you know, you're fighting over those ball screens, you know, you feel like you're um, unbeatable, when, you know. You know, slowly and surely those shots don't fall for them no more. You know, and then you look up and it's a 19 0 run, whatever it is, and you know it's the energy is just, just impacting everybody. So yeah, it's I feel uh, I feel uh, very confident in our defense. Anything else for the point? Oh, one more here. Yeah, you guys sort of go with you guys. It seems like they were making a couple of those tough twos kind of early. Where do you guys kind of get the patience to kind of play through that and wait for that round to kind of come the way you did? Yeah, just knowing that you know no one's gonna. Um, make those all game. Um, uh, you know, it, it's it's really hard to beat someone like that. So uh, having patience and then and just getting on people for not warring over ball screens. You know, sometimes you know we we call it a defensive a mistake if you're just getting hung on ball screens. So just having that will to actually want to get over and and fight through and and yeah, but no one's gonna beat you. Uh, you know, shooting tough twos all night. So. <laughs> Seems like you made some strides in this game, uh, scoring from the high post. Is it is attacking from there something that you've added, and is it been something you've been working on in practice? Uh, I feel like I just had the opportunity, um, you know, to to start playing up there more. But you know, I feel like that's always been a part of my game. Uh, you know, I can I can rip drive through the top or uh, through the free throw line. Uh, that's I feel like that's just been always a part of my game, you know. Uh, but just with our offense, um, you know, I'm uh, I can be effective from up there too, and uh, just look for the two main games. So um, a lot of times they'll overplay it, so that will open up the drive a lot. Okay, thanks, man.